Welcome to Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital. We are so excited to show you around our beautiful, freestanding Children's Medical Center that we opened in October of 2019. Each floor of our hospital has its own landscape and its own animal ambassadors, inspired by the many landscapes of Louisiana. On the first floor, we have our emergency department. You'll notice we painted it bright green to represent the bayous of Louisiana. The animal ambassadors are the alligator and the frog. We are a level two trauma center and see all pediatric traumas up to age 14. We see over 33,000 patients annually and have transport teams for both ground and helicopter. The emergency department has 26 beds, three critical care rooms, and two trauma bays. We also have a separate unit for mental and behavioral health patients that can accommodate up to 10 patients. This is our chapel. Our Lady of the Lake is a Catholic-based hospital and likes to offer families a place to pray or meditate. Mass services are also held here and all are invited to attend. Attached to the hospital is our medical office building. This is where we house our pediatric subspecialties of cardiology, allergy and immunology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, pulmonology, sleep medicine, infectious disease, pediatric surgery, orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, nephrology, adolescent medicine, and ENT. Our cafeteria is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Outside the cafeteria, we have our courtyard with covered seating, fountains, playhouses, and a sensory garden. Spending time in this space with each other is something that we can do to get away from the workroom and have lunch and spend some time in the sun. The second floor, which is home to our operating rooms, is yellow and represents the marshes and wetlands of Louisiana. The animal ambassadors are the fox and the fawn. We have five ORs and a robotic suite. We also have procedure rooms for endoscopy and bronchoscopy. Our physician's lounge, which is one of my favorite places in the hospital, is also found on the second floor. Monday through Friday, you can find a hot lunch. At any time of the day, there's hot coffee, cold Cokes, snacks, and grab-and-go salads and wraps. As you can tell, food is a priority around here. Nearby are eight call rooms where you can hope to catch a snooze overnight. Our residency program office is also located on the second floor. This is where you can find our mailboxes, our chief's offices, and our program director's offices. Our amazing administrative staff work from here to keep our program running smoothly. Everyone's doors are always open if we need anything. And there's never a shortage of candy in this area. Welcome to our third floor. This floor is purple and represents the coastline of Louisiana. The animal ambassadors are the redfish and spoonbill. Our third floor houses both our inpatient and outpatient hematology oncology services, which is very convenient for both our patients and our medical staff. Both the inpatient and outpatient sides have a fun playroom available for our kids to enjoy themselves. On the inpatient side, we have 10 beds where we take care of children ranging from sickle cell disease to oncology, including induction of treatment. On the outpatient side, we have a clinic and an infusion center. We are so blessed to be one of eight St. Jude affiliate clinics nationally. We have a very close relationship with St. Jude in Memphis, Tennessee. Patients can start treatment in Memphis and then come back home for continued treatment or some patients complete their entire treatment here in Baton Rouge. Our infusion center is great because patients can come here instead of being admitted to the hospital. It also has TVs and video game consoles to make their infusions as fun and comfortable as possible. We have some amazing Hemonc nurses in attendings and is frequently voted as one of the intern's favorite rotations. Now let's head up to the fourth floor. This floor is blue, which represents the rivers and streams of Louisiana. The animal ambassadors for this floor are the duck and beaver. The fourth floor is home to our pediatric intensive care unit. We have a 20 bed PICU to care for the most critically ill children in the region. Multidisciplinary rounds in the PICU involve the medical team, nursing, pharmacy, and child life. PICU is an upper-level rotation. 
you do one month your second year and six weeks during your third year. There is room in your schedule to do more PICU if that is something you are interested in. Across from the PICU is our 10-bed universal care unit, which is mostly used as a step-down unit for less acute children who aren't quite ready for the regular floor. Our simulation lab is one of my favorite places to learn. Multiple times during the year, you come to the sim lab and are given a case of an acutely decompensating child. You work alongside co-residents, nurses, and pharmacists to help stabilize the child. We also get to practice procedures here, such as intubations, lumbar punctures, and placing umbilical catheters. The fourth floor's newest addition is our neonatal intensive care unit. Set to open in late 2020, our NICU will have 10 beds and care for neonates that require multiple subspecialists and or close surgical follow-up. Residents complete their primary NICU rotations at Women's Hospital in Baton Rouge, but if interested, may choose to do an additional elective at our new NICU. The fifth floor represents the Northern Louisiana Piney Woods. The fifth floor animal ambassadors are the black bear and the raccoon. This is our general pediatrics floor and where we as residents spend a lot of our time on the inpatient service. We work closely with nurses, therapists, and dietitians to provide great patient care. We have a total of 40 beds on this floor and our large private rooms are outfitted with the comforts of home. Each room has a front porch and nurses are conveniently located between patient rooms. We accept admissions from our ER, ERs in the surrounding community, pediatric clinics, and subspecialists. We have three teams that run the hospital floor, two resident teams and one PA team for when the census gets high. The resident workroom is where we do our notes, do our teaching, and check out every morning and every afternoon. During COVID, we now have two resident workrooms to allow social distancing. One thing I love about our new hospital is the huge amount of workspace. You'll never have trouble finding a computer to put in orders or review patient information. We have a certified child life program that helps make our hospital a little less scary for kids. A big part of that is our playrooms. Each floor has a playroom that serves as a place for admitted kids to get out of their room and have some fun. We even have a teen room with video games and other activities for our adolescent patients. Child Life even sets up patients to be visited by ponies, therapy dogs, and celebrities like Drew Brees. Anything that might help our kids feel even a little better. We also have a physical therapy and occupational therapy gym on the fifth floor where our therapists have plenty of room and equipment to help patients recover. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. We hope this gives you a great idea of what life is like in our hospital and why so many of us like working here. Who knows, maybe one day you'll be giving this tour to a group of applicants just like you. Until next time.